I have an announcement to make. I don't know how I'm going to be posting this just yet. I wanted to wait until I finished Firefly to start posting two episodes, like in one video, like two parts of my Doctor Who reactions. But I don't want to wait that long to start posting uh, Doctor Who. So here I am. I'm going to start posting only one part per week until I finish Firefly and then it's going to be two parts per week. So yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. One part only until I finish Firefly and then two parts, two parts per week. <laughs> So here we finally are. I have been wanting to do classic Who reactions for ever since I started. <laughs> My first reactions were Doctor Who only. I was only doing it because I don't really know anyone in real life. Like, I didn't have anyone to talk to about Doctor Who. And I think it was like you know, on YouTube one day. Uh, looking stuff about Doctor Who and I found Torchwood Boy. I found one of his Doctor Who reactions and I was like, whoa, I want to do that. And that's how everything started. I, I just wanted people to talk about Doctor Who and what better way than, I guess, YouTube. And at first I wanted to do only Doctor Who, but Classic Who was so hard to find. And like, you know, I, I actually started rewatching Doctor Who from 2009 but then I stopped because I was gonna do um, that following episode with my best friend but then he left the country in a hurry and that like put me in a sad place <laughs> and then I, I didn't want to watch that episode without him because we've been talking about doing it together for so long and like <sighs> anyways I uh, I guess it would be like a rewatch because I watched the episodes when they were on Netflix a few years ago. Like the classic Who episodes. I don't remember much though. So, you know, you, you know how my memory works. Uh, it was quite a few years ago and I fell asleep in some of the episodes because I would watch them when I was about to go to bed and I used to get up very early to work and like, you know, so kind of like a rewatch, but not, I don't know. The point is I have seen some episodes because uh, Netflix didn't have all of them. Like I would jump from one doctor in like a, like some hardcore plot twist and then to another doctor in another story and I'd be like, what happened in between? What the fuck is this? I know there are some episodes missing still, uh, even in Britbox. Because, yes, thank you, Sherling, for allowing me the magic of Britbox. It's thanks to you that I'm finally able to do this. And as we talked, uh, there's episodes that are forever gone. There are some that are not here, but I'm gonna get later. Thanks to you again. Um, basically, all of these classic Who reactions are thanks to you. And I should be dedicating them to you. This is for you, Shirley. Anyways, with that being said, I'm nervous about this Doctor Who reactions because I know, I mean, the fandom is great, but some people are, you know, like every fandom, some people are just evil. So I'm kind of nervous about this, but yeah, this is going to be classic Doctor Who season one, episode one, and an earthly child. I guess part one, because there are like four parts of this, I don't know. An unearthly child. Mm -hmm. 
It's so dark. <laughs> Okay, love has like a little, I don't know if it's because it's in black and white, but it has like a little scary twist. Like it reminds me a little bit of uh, the Twilight Zone. She knows more science than I'll ever know. She's a genius. Is that what she's doing with history? Some I said I'd be willing to work with her at her home. Then she said that would be absolutely impossible as her grandfather didn't like strangers. He's a doctor, isn't he? Finally, I was so irritated with all her excuses, I decided to have a talk with this grandfather of hers and tell him to take some interest in her. I got her address from the secretary, 76 Totters Lane, and I went along there one evening. Well, there isn't anything there. It's just an old junkyard. Well, you must have gone to the wrong place. Well, that was the address the secretary gave me. And this nothing in the middle is number 76 Totters Lane. I'm lending her a book on the French Revolution. What's she gonna do, rewrite it? Oh, all right. <laughs> what do we do? No, I thought we could drive there, wait till she arrives, and see where she goes. Oh, all right. Isn't well, that, that like, no, okay, <laughs> for teachers to be stalking the students outside of school? She's so pretty. I'll return it tomorrow. Oh, that's not necessary. Keep it until you've finished it. I'll have finished it. Be careful, Susan. There'll probably be fog again tonight. Mm. See you in the morning. You're a little girl. You could get murdered. Right. I mean, her grandfather is a doctor and everything, but, like, she could get murdered. I suppose we are doing the right thing, aren't we? You can't justify nope. curiosity. The United States has a decimal system. You know perfectly well that we do not. Of course the decimal system hasn't started yet. I mean, it, I'm it sure it's confusing for her. Why is she going to school? If I lived with the doctor, if the doctor was my granddad, I'll be like, school, what the fuck is that? Let's go on an adventure! Time being the fourth, I suppose. Then what do you need E for? What do you make the fifth dimension? Space. Do we have a 15-year-old girl who is absolutely brilliant at some things and excruciatingly bad at others? Shad. Look, she is 15. She might be meeting a boy. Didn't that occur to you? I almost hope she is. What do you mean? Well, it would be so wonderfully normal. <laughs> At 15, though? I feel frightened. As if we were about to interfere in something that is best left alone. When you feel like that, you're usually right. Let's get it over And with. you shouldn't stick your nose in, you know? You should turn around and go. If she's so Susan. smart, I'm still thinking about why she's going, going to school. Right. If she's so smart, she's seen everything, she knows more than the books. Why are you going to school, girl? Wasting time there. Makes no fucking sense. How is my son supposed to pass his classes if you keep dragging him off for a high concept sci-fi rigmarole? Listen, Jerry, I, I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house, it's your world, you're a real Julius Caesar. But I'll tell you, so tell you how, how I feel about school, Jerry. It's a waste of time. Bunch of people running around, bumping into each other. Got guy up front says two plus two. The people in the back say four. Then the, then the bell rings. They give you a carton of milk and a piece of paper that says you can go take a dump or something. I mean, it's, it's not a place for smart people, Jerry. I, mean, I know that's not a popular opinion. That's my two cents on the issue. Feel it, you feel it? It's a faint vibration. It's alive. That's a conclusion I wouldn't have thought of. It's alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. There you are, grandfather. Susan, she didn't hear them yelling. Hey, Susan! What do you want? Um, one of our pupils, Susan Foreman, came into this yard. Really? In here? Are you sure? Yes. Why were you spying on her? Who are you? We heard a young girl's voice call out to you. We saw her come in and we haven't seen her leave. Naturally, we're worried. Have to be clean. Hmm? You're stalking oh, her. It's none of mine. Your well, they're you being actually nice because be she could be kidnapped. Open the door. If you both want to make fools of yourselves, I should just do what you said you'd do. No. Go and find a policeman. Are you nip off quietly in the other direction? Susan really didn't hear the fuss outside. Shut up. They must have followed you. That ridiculous school. I knew something like this would happen. We stayed in one place too long. Is this really where you live, Susan? Yes. 
Isn't problem. it fucking awesome? But it, well, why didn't you tell us that? I don't discuss my private life with strangers. You don't deserve any explanations. You pushed your way in here, uninvited and unwelcome. I think we... Oh, you wouldn't understand, of course. But I want to understand. Yes, 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 yes. I can see by your face that you're not certain. You don't understand. <laughs> I, I knew you wouldn't. Never mind. Yeah, good switch for this. I don't remember the name uh, of the actor who played uh, yes. the first doctor it. in was it Twice Upon a Christmas? Something like that. What is going to happen to me? Twice Upon a hmm? something. I was yes, so surprised yes, yes. because that matter. man looked exactly like this man. Well, I made up the name Tardis from the initials time and relative dimension in space. Why won't they believe us? Well, how can we? Now, now, don't get exasperated. They're no in it. Red Indian. Well, they the might think they're drugged or something. Savage children of my civilization would be insulted. Your I civilization? Have... Yes, my civilization. I tolerate this century, but I don't enjoy it. That's me. The I exhaust. tolerate this century, but I don't Shoes enjoy it. Shoes are cut off from a room. <laughs> Grandfather, let them go now, please. Look, if they don't understand, they can't. They can't hurt us at all. What? No, we're gonna drop the them into a volcano. They might reject things they don't understand. They can't keep us here. Kidnapped. Look, I love your school. I love England in the 20th century. Why? <laughs> Why? No, you, you can't get out. He won't let you go. There's the door from over there. I saw it. I'd be so, like, shitting my pants. Kidnap this old man laughing. Space is a scientific dream. I don't expect to be in a Open the door. Zeus, will you help us? I mustn't. I Good love morning. the first doctor. I'll have to risk it myself. Grumpy and old. Love. No, grandfather, we've had all this alternative child. You'll go to stay. school in another time, another well, state, whatever. Why don't you trust them? Ew, well, going to school. I still don't get it. <laughs> I hate it school, can you tell? Oh no, grandfather, no! Let me go. No! Get back to the ship, child! Hold it! Kidnapped! Are they gonna get sick or what's that face? I mean, I'm guessing you should get like car sick. How do you TARDIS sick when it travels? It only makes sense, right? Oh, next episode already? All right. I still don't know how I'm gonna do this because there's short episodes and a lot of episodes, but I I'm going to record, like pre-record as many as I can, but record them like separately each episode. So um, yeah, I'm gonna end this here. Still don't know how you're gonna see it, but anyways, thank you for watching this episode with me. Thank you, Sherling, and I will see you in my next video. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow. Take my hand, I'll take you to Neverland. I am Peter Pan, I'll never be a man if you never wanna grow Take my hand, I'll take you to